So now we need to make the trigger function and guard it if we do have the true consent or not. So before we start the app and see how it all works, let's do this. So we'll be using the consent tracker and asking is user consent valid. This holds the real value of it. If we do, we can try to show the ads start reward ad. This is actually now gonna load the ad. Okay, rewarded ad. Else, now this is something that you need to handle yourself. I don't know, I'm not gonna fully finish this game with a user prompt. I'm just gonna say in here, so a toast text, you please consent to GDPR permits to show ads. And what we do in here now is the correct place to uh, reuse the, uh, the consent form to the user at this point, possibly, just to make it work. So I'm gonna finalize this later, but this kind of a functionality to check the true state of the validity. Load ads, so ads else prompt to the user somehow that it's not finished at this point. Or request a, a purchased version to be used instead. But uh, as this is a rewarded ad, I'm not gonna force the user to buy pro version at this point. <clears throat> So let's say my GDPR reuse existing and we had to keep the activity is this. We have to uh, pass in consent tracker, consent tracker. We have to pass in the init ads because, because init ads sorry this is not in it ads we did we can directly initialize now the ads itself at this point because this is gonna take care internally everything like so i believe we are now in here now we we didn't, did not yet use this reuse of consent form, but now we are. And we are still missing one. Let's, we have a to do, so let's use this in here. Again, we are saving into our press data store, the true state of it for global access if required or in your case possibly directly updating the view model so okay now we have all of the my gdpr functions in use okay i think it's time to run the app and see how we get the user consent form and how we can reuse it again and again and how the ads are limited so let's run the game. Now time to uh, test the app. We did code quite a lot and uh, let's see if it works. And we are now gonna cross compare by logging the big difference of the uh, how the UMP SDK gives us the status feedback and how the true is user consent valid gives us the real feedback. So, okay, as you can see, we do now have right on the bat when the um, app is started. Sorry, this is finished, but this means pretty much I consent to all, I consent to none. And then there's about a hundred permission parameters that the user can fizzle with to select 
consent or not and he's not gonna get it right all of them so that Google would be able to display ads so there there's no hope if for ad-based monetization if you don't do this correctly and user presses I do not consent you don't get ads there's either no hope if user intends to go into these hundreds of parameters and uh, he's just randomly gonna tweak these and uh, about 200 230 parameters in here and miss something and no hope that that why this is the end of end of uh, ad monetization so let's go back in here and let's see how our consent tracker did the job so now you can see it's giving us a status of false okay that's this is the function that we can trust at the on create we call is user consent valid <clears throat> we are giving a getting a feedback that the user is belongs to the gdpr area and we have to ask the consent that's why we had the prompt now consent form is shown okay we have no permission to show personalized ads and we have no permission to show any ads at all so okay now i will press i do not consent so we can see how the my gdpr class we can log this class and see how it gives us false info let's say it gives us correct information by saying user consented but it is in big conflict to these so i say i do not consent in here at this point okay so what happened let's see the state of our consent tracker so the true state is we have no permission to show ads at all like you can see here we're still at the gdpr nothing changed but here's the stupid thing i'm sorry i have to now search my gdpr class there's quite a many hmm. oh yes we are fixing that also in here we do get false because we are safeguarding that currently within our app so let's search this function from my gdpr why it works correctly now this one is con consent obtained or not required so okay this why because we are using the same consent tracker in here as an and term google advises you to use this like so and it would give you a true status currently if you just trust this one as google is telling you your app is dead your app monetization is dead so back it up with this so you won't get false status from here okay because that's what you're gonna be using to uh, know if your ads are showing or not so we did not consent so our ads rewarded ad should not work either so let's let's take a look how we did the function so we have a somewhere we have a rewarded ad button let's see so rewarded ad i believe we have here okay again we are checking if the user consent is truly valid or not and then we launch the ad else we should see now a toast please consent to all gdpr permits to show ads and we are gonna reload 
result the consent form. Fingers crossed. Boom. Please consent to all GDPR permits to show ads. Now the user can say agree. Okay, let's say agree. Okay, we pressed agree. Let's log quickly what happened. Down to the latest my GDPR. Okay, is consent obtained or not required? True, it is obtained. Our consent tracker is also now giving us, of course, the information valid, true, GDPR true. We can show personalized ads and ads true. Okay, this might need the app to restart to actually show the ads because now we just initialized the ads at this very late stage. But hey, fingers crossed. We are trying to reload the ad. It seems it is working. Yes, and we are getting the rewarded ad in here. And probably even we will get, this is by the way, test ad for a test device, but we should get the 50 gold now and we can start playing the game. Player one earned 50 gold. Super. Okay. Just for the sakes of coolness. Let's play the game. So by the way, if you haven't seen this game, now we have a bunch of bombs. Go check it out in Google Play. This is actually quite old game, but uh, I coded this a couple of years back. What you need to do is to collect all the diamonds in here and uh, try to conquer the space. As you go advance, it gets harder. And uh, while you're conquering the planets, you get more space, more freedom to uh, move around. And uh, this area of space becomes non-hostile. It's a cool game. I still can't understand how I had the uh, state of mind and... Uh, and uh, persistence to code this because it was quite quite a job anyhow check it out at google play i will link it there it's called rain fire but okay guys i think we um uh, this was a long tutorial and now you can go and set your own gdpr class and uh, make what any kind of a reaction based on the uh, consent tracker and my gdpr as i did in here like i said this is not finished yet i truly have to make a better prompt than just a toast text for the user maybe some persistence persistent prompt up here that this is non-gdpr compliant and uh, then the rest is up to you if you want to uh, offer a purchased version for the user because ads are disabled till it's done. We'll be back.